The Biden administration is also proposing changes to bank overdraft fees. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is now pushing for a $3 fee. Right now, the average overdraft protection fee that banks charge, 35 bucks. This is a big change. These banks, they make a lot of money from overdraft fees. And so that is what has really propped up their stock price. So it could end up being a big battle between the administration and the banking industry. So it's something that every one of us as consumers could, should keep an eye on. Now, according to the CFPB, 23 million households pay overdraft fees in any given year. This new proposal could save consumers collectively about 3.5 billion or more in fees every single year. And that translates to about $150 per household. Now, overdraft protection is a convenience of sorts, right? So in option one, right, you're buying groceries, you're using your bank debit card, the purchase goes through, even though you don't have the money, you're charged a fee. Option two, your card is denied right there at the register because, well, you don't have enough money in your account. Option one, certainly more convenient in the moment. But if you're not looking at your bank account constantly, you're really gonna pay for this. You've gone to three or four other places and now you're at $150 of overdraft fees. So the embarrassment is worth it to be able to keep from getting those overdraft fees. Two Wants to Know has linked you to the entire proposal on these overdraft fees. You can look in the Two Wants to Know section to see how you can send the Bureau your comments about this.